Hello everyone, on the decks here, welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'd like to spotlight a mod which most of you may very well be familiar with, uh, which is chicken chunks or ch chicken chunk loaders by chicken bones. First, in order to actually understand their importance or rather their usefulness of chicken chunks, you need to understand what chunks are and how they work. So chunks are basically the next building block of your Minecraft world, a uh, single block being the first step which composes your Minecraft world as you move around it and procedurally generate it if needed. Uh, they're composed of 16 by 16 blocks on the X and Z axis and go from bedrock to sky ceiling on the Y axis. And actually, let me explain. I'm going to use the debug screen uh, with F3. If you look on the left, you can see my X, Y and Z coordinates. And you can actually see that right now in my x in my x coordinate I mean c minus one and z minus one. If I slightly move around, you can see. Let's just move, for example, only on my z axis. So you can see that I'm going through blocks number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. At the moment, I each block 16. I'm basically in chunk uh, numbered one in the z axis, and I can keep going. And now I'm in chunk number two in the z-axis. Basically, it's a separate grid from your block grid, which again separates your Minecraft world and build it, and as you move around it's procedurally generated. Now by default, when the player moves around, the client loads a set amount of chunks around him, so the game could appear to be working seamlessly without any loading screens. As the player moves around in real time, chunks are being loaded from either the hard drive, if they've been created before, or in turn get created in real time. While already loaded chunks that you are moving away from get unloaded from memory into the hard drive and essentially freeze, meaning they simply stop. Uh, any process running on them at the time stops from operating until the player visits the chunk again. Now the easiest example is simply if you plant a sapling in a chunk and get the chunk to unload, that sapling will not grow no matter how long you wait for if the chunk is unloaded for the sole reason of the process that makes saplings randomly grow into a tree will simply not occur in an unloaded chunk. So I think that's the best example uh, on how to explain how unloaded chunks work. In a vanilla game, of course, if you're using mods, obviously you already know, you're already familiar with processes that may not be working if you're not around. Okay, so basically this is where chunk loaders come in. Chunk loaders are quite an essential part of most mod packs you are playing right now. Uh, if you haven't played any, uh, you should try Feed the Beast, personally, my recommendation. So chunk loaders are made like this, from five gold ingots, an ender pearl, and an enchantment table. And this is how you create an enchantment table. When you place it on the ground, you can simply access it by right-clicking. And you can control what shape of chunks will be force loaded. For example, right now I'm using the square shape by default with a radius of two. Basically, from the center it goes to it goes uh, two outside to any side, resulting in nine chunks force loaded. And you can also show lasers to actually see how it works in action. So you can actually see those that those nine chunks that are currently being marked with the lasers. You can see that nice, very nice big shape of lasers, those chunks will be force loaded no matter where you are, how far you are, and if you are even in a different dimension, like the nether, or the end, or a mistcraft dimension, doesn't matter, those chunks will remain loaded. So that's something that I left here, if I would venture far enough from here, to essentially to a spot where otherwise those, this chunk will be unloaded, this sapling may eventually grow. So you can also change the radius to a bigger radius, so a 3 radius from the center going to 3 to every side resulting in basically 25 chunks uh, being force loaded. You can go to even 4, 5, keep going. Of course when you do that you have to keep in mind that th those chunks will always remain on your memory instead of being unloaded into your hard drive, essentially meaning there is a larger strain on your computer. Your computer simply uh, tries harder to keep your game working because it's keeping more chunks than it should by default. You can also try and go for a square. You can go for a line on the x on the x axis. You can see this is the line, or a line on the y axis, on the z oh, y axis. Sorry, y axis doesn't make much sense because y axis is this single chunk anyway, so it doesn't make much sense anyway. 
And there you go. This is a very simple mod that over being overlooked. Uh, it's extremely useful if you want to keep your processing, processes running in a different lo location and area, most notably uh, running a process in the nether while you're in the overworld or the other way around. Of course, this also runs on servers and can be changed so only the player that has placed the chicken chunk can control it and not any other player. And also the, the modder, the operator of the server can decide how many chunks are available to be force loaded by a player. So for example, the operator of a server can determine that a player cannot load more than, let's say, 100 chunks. And this way he can basically save some strain from the CPU of his server. So players cannot run around and keep force loading chunks unnecessarily and crash the server. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching my quick video tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.